What's up guys? This is the Brightfoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Gran Colombia. And in this episode, uh, we are finishing off the last of a Spanish force that are currently uh, southeast of Havana on the island of Cuba. Now this is going to cause many problems, we just need to make sure we wipe them out. So let's take them on. And I think the next big step for this campaign will be deciding where to go. Um, I'm... I'm keen to keep on attacking Spain. I don't necessarily want to open up the conflict to other great powers, such as France and Britain, unless they invite it, because they've got lots of allies. But I think if I were to push and take Florida, for example, from Spain, I think that will cause the US to start uh, questioning our presence on the continent. So I'm going to keep my foot artillery back and bombard from range. My main infantry battle line is going to advance. My grenadiers and my frontiersmen are going to be on the left flank looking to try and secure this building. We're going to split up the cavalry. How it's is it going to be popping off shots? And the horse artillery are probably going to dart forward to about here. So I'm going to let my... Ooh, okay, their guns are actually at the top of the hill. If I get both my frontiersmen inside, I saw one of our infantry units just took a big hit from Darker's shot. Make sure my light, my horse artillery is running. Get my foot artillery to engage the mass. How it's said to engage Colonial Dragoons. Not overly bothered about their artillery, it's just advanced to point blank range so we can engage it with our musketry. Unlimber the horse artillery. And yeah, we're too close now. So these pop guns are going to aim for the colonial dragoons on the flank. To be honest, I don't think either of these frontiersmen are going to be required inside. So let's just keep pushing out. Pop guns, engage their artillery. Push forward and take their gun line. Keep advancing. Push the colonial light cavalry up. Same with these dragoons. Okay, now they're moving up. My frontiersmen are not going to use their range. They're going to push in and use their devastating accuracy. Boom square. the you men push up and take the high ground oh go on frontiersmen give them a volley horse artillery engage other targets hey I guess it was artill our, our artillery that caused them to break Grenadiers are firing. So you men go for the foot artillery crews. My grenadiers are going after colonial militia. Let's 
let's make sure my general's involved. There we go, the infantry came back. See you men push up and take, fill in the gaps. Ah, Thunder Dragoons are routing, probably from artillery fire and musketry and pretty much everything we got. Get all my guns to engage the general's bodyguard because they are pursuing our cavalry. Push forward, you men secure the house. Uh, my dragoons are shattered, so they're definitely going to be out of the picture. All my artillery against the general's bodyguard by the looks of it. Okay, ceasefire. One last volley. Colonial light cavalry. Come storming over the hill. Kill their commander. All my artillery engage. This unit that's coming back. My general out of the way. Get this infantry to do an about face. Kill the general. A lot of artillery slamming in. General's bodyguard over here ready to intercept. We got colonial militia moving back around, so let's just push men up to swarm them. We've killed their general, sir. So let's just push the remainder of my infantry up to mob that last unit. General's bodyguard go for the colonial militia. More militia. Actually, don't charge them in, that's silly. Up. Just like everyone else is doing. Now it's a limber up, light artillery or horse artillery limber up. They broke immediately. I mean, I think they can't really decide what to do. They're trying to charge people you can hear their battle cries I think they want to charge my cavalry but we are coming in there we go we tagged some of them General's got some good kills against the colonial militia. Yeah, look, they want it. They want my cavalry. That's why they're running away from my infantry. So they're gonna we're gonna grant them their wish. Especially when the grenadiers are split up, so they're probably gonna rout anyway. There you go, you got what you wanted. Are you happy now? No, they are not. Shatter them. 
There we go. Good. For God's sake, Grenadiers. Group my cavalry together. Well, not the, ho not the horse artillery. They can stay where they are. You men just form up, reload. Especially when the grenadiers are after my cavalry. Well, at least they're very nicely grouped up to be slaughtered as a group, as it, collectively, rather than in, in a number of smaller groups like they were before. And try go after the militia, but yeah, they're definitely going to escape. But a victory is a victory nonetheless. I shall take that victory. Yeah, 366 men lost. We killed more than a thousand of theirs. They've retreated, but we're going to move up. Reinforce. Let's upgrade the farm. That gives us enough to upgrade the village, but I want to make sure... Yeah, we get the roads upgraded first, then the cloth mill. Very nice. So let's take my battle fleet up to San Juan. You are progressing quite well. So you're going to be ready to invade, soon we'll be ready to invade Trinidad and Tobago, so I'll knock these guys out then take St. Augustine and see what the US has to say about it do they want to create a general war because right now Mexico is not a great ally, but an ally nonetheless well let's hit end turn because we can't do anything else especially if they tr <laughs> they did, they took Villa de Berra, they, they vote taking out the Pueblo Nations, which is very nice I don't know if they'll join us in a war against the United States, but if we take Florida, that's a strong base to build on. We will need a decent navy, though. And we will need to jump on wherever we find a alone US navy, second rate or third rate. We jump on it and capture it for ourselves. I don't really want to fight against Britain yet. I don't really want to fight against France yet. Spain's knocked out the Cherokee. You can see it on the map very briefly. Barbary states say out of their doom. France is building out more troops. Again, I hope they're not going for us. But right now, everyone loves us except for Spain. So let's keep that going. I mean, down the line, we could end up invading and capturing Madrid just to end the war but I think that might be a bit of a reach for the moment we have an economy entirely based on trade so we need to move to secure that trade and that's really through naval means I don't have access to a, a naval or like a, an admiralty building either I think the only place to get that on the, in the US in the US theater is Philadelphia so we will have to take the United States out to guarantee our security unless we well I was about to say unless we buy the technology but my suspicion is you can't buy access you can't buy technology you don't you currently don't have access to so for example if I didn't have the required buildings to research late game military techs I don't think I can research I could buy that technology from another faction I believe could be wrong but that's my current working assumption Sweden is on the march everything's happening quite predictably let's upgrade the government building New recruitment. You're just trying to keep hold of the territory. You're going to destroy the ships. 
to destroy the infantry, push the privateer out to the fleet, and we destroyed it. Let's demolish the dockyard, replenish the army, recruit a unit of dragoons. So the new chaps can also rebase San Juan for repairs. Okay. So in Caracas we can recruit a new general. Padio Samiento y Valadre Valadares. We want to get one more artillery piece, one more unit of infantry, two more units of infantry. Then they're at full strength, ready to push on and out. I don't think there's anything we can really do. Five turns till we get the next tech. And we're a ways away from getting the next building. Yeah. Or the next opportunity to get a building, so we may as well double down on the old. Well, we are, I suppose we are recruiting forths quite consistently. Let's not go mad. Are you upgrading the new road network? You are. Good. You'll soon be done. I'm not going to build any militia to hold on to this fort yet, because soon we will be able to get line infantry. So for example, that's an enticing pair. If we could jump on a second and a third rate, with a large number of smaller ships, we may be able to do it. We may be able to dismass them, so we can just outmaneuver them and destroy them. Is Quebec going to go undergo a naval invasion of somewhere? That would be cool. The US is sending troops abroad, as is soon to be tradition. That's a lot of troops Austria's gathering in northern Italy. Let's just hope they don't head our way. Yeah, I think we need to end up, we may end up invading the United States sooner rather than later. Because I don't think we can build ships any bigger than fourth rates. The only way we can get them is by capturing them. And that's only on the off chance that factions leave them vulnerable. And we get the opportunity to take them out with the forces that we would like. Mm, the Ottomans are chasing off the Russians. For the time being, I don't think that's a huge worry for us the ottomans we to be honest we don't have a lot of problems most of the country or most of the world loves us so if we end up wanting to expand we may have to use the uh whatever small whatever's the smallest nation that we can attack and not get in trouble at some point we definitely do want to go after ceylon probably we need a very big army to do that and then we can make it up with local recruits maybe the native troops we get them that'll get us access to a supply of tea for the global market which is very good other than that i think we're going to start getting to a point where we've got more money coming in than we can currently spend and that won't forever be the problem because if they blockade us for a turn we will lose all that income Colin Mamelukes and we're back ominous let's see if we can replicate uh, this they've cancelled trade with us to trade with someone else not sure who see if I can get any trade agreements not for three grand well that's it if I don't trade with them for three grand I don't trade with anyone else go on then well, four grand effectively uh, right 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 grade you to a trade port you've made it to here 
Let's upgrade Cuba's road network. Keep on replenishing. You recruit a sloop to go occupy the port. Upgrade you. Okay, let's keep the ships concentrated. So you're done, so let's get you into Puerto Cabello. Embark. Deposit them off of... We'll deposit them on to Trinidad and Tobago. And then at Caracas, let's recruit a batch of infantry, just to make sure that this territory isn't unprotected. Seven grand left, or seven grand surplus. Four turns till we get Division of Labour. And the Division of Labour, that will soon soak up our um, excess cash, because it means we've got to upgrade all of our plantations and all of our ports. So that's going to that's gonna take some money. So there are no Native American troops left, tribes left. The Iroquois, Iroquois have been knocked out by the Americans, the Cherokee have been knocked out by the Spanish. Soon we'll invade Trinidad and Tobago. Three more turns to the universities done. I mean, these guys aren't a problem. They're not a problem. But it will be another sugar. I don't like how Mexico's gathering troops near Panama. Hmm. Calls for concern, but if we have relatively free access to the seas, we can redeploy an army to Panama really quite quickly. The US is sending troops north, but you wonder if they're at war with Quebec. Or they fear war with Quebec. Are they going to sail to their doom? Yes, they are. <laughs> you got to admire the grit. Righty oh ho. Mm -hmm. We might have to build some bit rates because for now they are still useful ships to help bulk out our fleet rather than just relying on forts. Portugal is going after France. Well we're not trading with them, so we don't care. Still some errant movement on the Russian side. But it appears they aren't making any overt movements against us, which is good. Looks like Europe's forming into the usual blocks of Austria, the Ottomans, and Prussia. But it'd be interesting to see if Austria or the Ottoman or the Prussians uh, gain dominance. The Austrians do have a lot of troops in Italy, so maybe they're going to go take over the Italian peninsula and knock out some of the other factions like the Italian states or the Kingdom of Naples. There's a Persian fleet breaking out to the English Channel to do something Sweden's raiding Britain again not a massive problem for us and lots of the smaller nations are carrying on the Ottomans have oh that's interesting the Ottomans have broken their alliance with the Barbary states so we're going to go after we are going to go after San Jose I just want to make sure that I got other things on the go as well. Let's build two fifth rates. I am concerned about a Mexican build up here to our south. Do I fortify Panama? Three turns till we have to spend a load of cash, so it might not be a terrible idea. Let's put a bit of a garrison. So you will soon be ready to be committed against Florida. 
Adelante, muchacho. But the thing Asedio for now derecha. is to attack San Jose de Orona, Trinidad and Tobago. Then hop over and destroy the Spanish remnants to the southwest. So should France declare war on us or cause any problems, then they've got a number of territories that are very vulnerable, which I would like to take out. Same with Britain. They got um, Jamaica, the Bahamas and the Leeward Islands, I believe. Lee Leeward or Windward. There is a nautical rationale for why one is why it's one and not the other. Um, but I do not know it. Okay, let's set my guns up. Just lob shells from the back. Keep my grenadiers back here. A lot of cavalry. I am acutely aware that the bulk, the large armies coming in is a reinforcement rather than the main force. So set up as a line. Grenadiers hold back. Group all my colonial light cavalry together. All my dragoons and tribal auxiliary together. General in the center. Yeah, maybe here. Okay, so they're coming in towards the right and at the back. So we aren't that bothered. They've got some buccaneers. They're going to storm forward rapidly. Now to tribal auxiliary, run into position. Engaging my colonial light have knocked out one of their guns. I was gonna say a carcass shot. I thought is that quick climb? No, it's carcass shot. And it's a miss. That one may not be a miss. No damage though. Lost so much artillery. No, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted my tribal auxiliary up to begin engaging. So if we can knock out this file arm citizenry, we can ignore what's going on. Well, we not ignore, but we just uh, push on to attack the troops coming in as reinforcements. Let's just run you guys forward to fire another volley. Killed a couple of my tribal auxiliary. Good. Take them out. There goes the guns. Terrain looks nice. If we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. I mean, these troops are effectively going to get an order to push. Just keep pushing. There's no, we're not really worried about the magnitude. Get the guns packed up. Suppose you, these guns, my foot artillery wants to come over here, roughly. Speed up time, because right now it's going to be a bit of a cluster. So interesting they're now running out to meet us. Let's form a line here. The new men are going to come in on the 
flank, I would I suppose, or are you going to have to go here close? Not ideal. This flank continued to advance. Get the Kroborgs in out on the flank. Charge the Buccaneers. The Grenadiers will make short work of them. Make sure you fellows do not fire at will, although you will get involved in the action anyway. You men charge the back of the Buccaneers so we can get the bulk the other the rest of our infantry into the fight. Commit to get this regiment of foot to push through to the town here. get through any grenadiers go for the militia let's break one unit of colonial line across right here make sure my general's nearby you men form up here don't charge just fire at them and get my grenadiers up here as well So this line, these men are just holding them off. You are charging into the flank of this mess. Okay, now you're going to charge in because we've got a chance to just break. Break this massive block of scoundrels. You are entirely surrounded. The other cavalry's coming in to sweep around and win the day. It's going to take a bit of time to whittle them down. They still believe there's a chance. My men disagree. Mass, mass enemy routes. Our troops are just overwhelmed with the scale of the victory. Could get a lot of kills, but eh, let's, let's not worry about that. Then we need to get into the sugar plantation, then jump, jump out just to wipe out these fellows. Jump back into Trinidad. Recruit a sloop. Sugar plantations maxed out and we can't upgrade it anyway. Upgrade the government building, upgrade the roads. Punish the army. Excellent. More sugar. 14,000 this turn. Uh, a couple of our trade prospects are blockaded, which isn't fun. But we've improved our production of raw materials for export. Let's get a bow. No, let's not get a bow unit. You're not ready yet. Yeah, once we take Florida, that could be the make or break on do not I do not like how Mexico is sending troops south. If Mexico turns on us before we before we take Florida, they may be our next enemy. The US is invading someone. Britain's left Tangier. Remains to be seen if that's a good decision or not. Are they going to take Venice or are they just going to run through Venice? 
So that's nearly five full stacks they've got in Northern Italy. I'm not quite sure what their strategy is there. They're getting, especially when they're getting squeezed between the Prussians and the Ottomans. What they could really be doing is trying to take some major Prussian cities and really break the back of their war effort. The Ottomans tried to, uh, Knight of St. John tried to chase someone down and failed dramatically. No, there's still no no drastic change of borders beyond the usual. Although we are not that many turns into the game. Oh, in, into the campaign, really. I think Iceland might be right for the take I mean, taking. Yes, it is, because the Iroquois have been destroyed. Iceland is now owned by a, a uh, rebel pirate faction. But if I can build up a half stack, maybe, to go after, to go out to India to secure uh, modern day Sri Lanka, that would be very good. Build a bit of a garrison there, then sail on and take Iceland. Then we'll have footholds in all theatres, which we could use as a base of operations for further expansion. Hmm? Is Russia going to be the one to make this all break down? It appears they may well be. So, just a second guys. I'll see you in a minute. Well, in a second for you. Ooh. And we are back and the Russians did cause quite a significant... Uh, chug. Looks like the... Ooh! Looks like Colin might have been knocked out by Sweden. It's an interesting state of affairs and it might it will cause the N10 phase just to be that much quicker because we have one fewer faction in the world. So I'd wager Venice is an ally of Austria. Yes, and I mean these are grand... Okay, so actually, the US is not a bad one to be at war with because it would only draw in Quebec, who's already upset, and France, which has some tasty prospects in the Caribbean. So let's get the governor's mansion built, get the roads upgraded. Let's check to make sure there's nothing else we can do. Okay, so I'm going to take this army, embark them. Let's go for Florida, stroll them off the coast. Yeah, not a bad little garrison there, but not enough to stop us. Cuba still building cobbled roads. I may Okay, let's take these troops. And get them to Panama. Because I must admit I am a bit concerned about a surprise Mexico attack. So we are fortifying it. Another set of infantry built. Corlin's been destroyed. Got another fourth rate here. Let's send this fourth rate just to go have a look at Antigua, see if they're massing any troops nearby. Not that I can see. What about over here at Campeche? No, nothing here either. Let's get you back over to San Juan. So next time we can go after Florida, and then we'll see how the US responds to such a such an action. Can't upgrade anything at all. Two turns till we get division of labour. You're all replenishing. Good, good, good. Time to hit end turn again. I mean, you got to think, Quebec's got to try and attack someone, surely. Oh, the US are moving men south. 
It would be good to know if that is because of us. It looks like Great Britain's probably got Tangier secured. And they're probably pushing in against the Barbary States from the west. Prussia's being in Prussia. I mean, if we end up fighting the US, we're going to end up uh, pushing up the coast, taking territories as we can. Then, then we will build armies in Venezuela, and then we will land them off the coast um, up ahead of our advancing army. Let's see if Russia causes everything to break again. <laughs> and it looks like it might. It, it, well, not, but it won't cause it to break. Just cause it all to slow down somewhat. So, see you in a second again. There we go. So, Westphalia wants peace. Uh, we're going to give it to them because I have no interest in being at war with Westphalia anymore. And Westphalia has no nothing to gain from them being at war with me. Division of Labour. All of our ports can be upgraded and all of our plantations. And this 27 grand is going to disappear mighty quick. So first of all, let's upgrade all of our ports. Although actually that's not that many. And the plantations. Low yield, me yield. Low yield. Low yield. Mega, 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 mega. Average. Average. Very well. The average tobacco plantations can get upgraded first. That's actually not bad. Because they are our most productive asset. And we're also producing a bit of sugar. Well, a bit of coffee and lots of sugar. So then it wants to be sugar upgraded after that. Upgrade you. Let's not upgrade anything now because we want to go after Florida. Oh, and they want to get this upgraded. Good. So you sign peace with Westphalia. Let's go after a Spanish here at St. Augustine. We're going to knock, knock them out, secure the territory, see how the US responds. They may respond uh, happily, they may respond badly, but either way, we'll know. And if we get, if we turn, if we end up uh, being at war with the United States, that's not a bad outcome because we wanted to do that anyway at some point. So all my artillery... Five for effect. My howitzers are not so useful. This is one assault team. This is another assault team. You men try to push around one of the flanks. These three are going to exploit gaps and weaknesses where we find them. Okay. Because you may as well get chipping away at a weak spot. May as well speed up time because all we're doing is knocking holes and things. I'm going to use my howitzer to attack this section here just to start chipping away. Hopefully, we can trap a lot of their units. So, I might actually get my smaller horse artillery pieces to focus on the left. That appears to not have been the outcome I was after, although you actually will commit fratricide if you do that. Okay, let's split our fire again. There we go. So now over here, we've got a howitzer plus 
actually both of our foot artillery units. Our horse artillery are going to keep chipping away at that piece. They're picking us off. All my guns aim at this piece, howitzers aim at that piece. Because the idea is, as soon as they realise they might get trapped, that's when they get off the walls and they realise, actually, this is a bad idea. Although they appear to... The guns have got a mine of their own again, and they're going after... Sections inside the wall. Come on, another... Number of are they doing it again? Damn and blast. You all did what I wanted to do. See if, 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 if this was a little bit earlier, we'd have this would have been dismantled. Or destroyed. One more. Boom. Now everyone focus on this section. Just to knock out the last or to trap a handful of units up here, Frontiersmen and Hessian Line. There we go. We got him. Take care of the bodies. There we go. These men are going to go forward here. Where's my cavalry? Go wide. Because you've got a gun team plus burn your dragoons back here. Push up the frontiersmen as well. Let's try to lob shells over to attack enemy artillery, I assume. There we go. They're on the move. Boost my cavalry. My only hope is that, I need that there's a small window where our clip dies off from up here. Yeah, they got some hits. Are they going after my cavalry? Close with and kill or capture that those guns. Build your own little pocket. There we go. To 
try and get our frontiersmen up on the flank. With a unit of line infantry. One unit push up to the flank like that. One unit sit here at the front. Get my gunners to engage the men on the wall. Still dangerous. Native warrior auxiliary. Grenadiers, get in. You must all of you men get in, because this area is actually weak. Grenadiers form up, ready to follow them in. Enemy cavalry dealt with, deal with the horse artillery. Artillery, all of it cease fire. Grenadiers go after the 5th regiment. These units both push up, or push in rather. You men stand by, ready to push. Frontiersmen secure the gate. Form square. Push the grenadiers in, because they're now starting to pull men away from that section of the wall. Pull all the cavalry in through this open gate. I mean, I wanted my frontiersmen to secure this section of the gate, but apparently they do not wish to. These men, hopefully, though, will. No, don't go in this way. We will take this for our faction. One unit of infantry broke. Unsurprisingly, they're a bit focused. There we go. You men get in. Unsurprising though. So you men push down off the wall. You men get over here to bolster this front. You men get ready. Go in. After the native warrior auxiliary, although that's there a bit spooky. Commit to getting in. Get the horse artillery. We'll just get the central square. Native War Auxiliary are very spooky. You men get over. Right, start the time again. Come on, get in, get in. You men get in as well. Help put another axis of attack against those native warriors. Oh, 
You men get in, keep attacking. The you men might get over here. They're engaging our they're engaging our line. You men get off the wall as well. Form a blocking line. Yeah, they're engaging us. You men hold. Although I might have to get my general in. As much of a gamble as that may be. You men knock out that last horse artilleryman just to make sure they do. He does go away. You men take the bullets. You've got 17 seconds to hold. It was a potentially a bit of a. Okay, General go in against the Grenadiers to buy us a bit more time. See, the, see these guys up here, actually, the Frontiersmen, that's kind of perfect for them up here. I can't really stop them. So that was an error, a grave error, but nevertheless, the fortress is taken. Whew. That was, that was, that was not going well. If that went on for longer, we would definitely have lost. But the city is ours. Let's focus on reinforcing our army. That's going to take more money than we have. It's a French army, Mexican navy. We don't need a Jesuit college because you're 100% Catholic. Lots of our buildings are ruined. But that's not... It was dodgy, but not bad. So, you're going on with government by consent, although I'm actually going to instead move you on to measuring tools because we need more cash. Actually, you may well go on to... Reduce the cost of plantations is good. Mostly it's all about the pop growth, though. We can really do with some pop growth, although flying shuttles also good. Uh, it's got to be measuring tools. More money. So we're bringing our fourth rate back. Yeah, they're going to attack us, that's for sure. They're definitely building armies, building an army in Guatemala. The interesting thing is, I was wondering if Spain would <laughs> immediately they attack us. Come on, Mexico, help us out. They've landed troops south of Florida. They need to get pulled out. I need to pull my men out of Florida. Is that a rebel faction? Who's that? The Barbary States. They've undergone a regime change. And they have failed. Okay, so now the army that's in... Uh, the army that's in Trinidad and Tobago, they need to join the action against the United States. Because it is on. And Mexico joined us, which is really nice. And importantly, France didn't join them. Uh, Prussia wants a military alliance and for me to give them Curacao. But what if I just said no and you give us all this stuff anyway? Fair enough. An alliance with a European power does not help my aims. But I think I'm going to pull my army out of Florida, let them have it, then land and assault it with the force from uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Because otherwise, that army in there is doomed. Utterly doomed. So let's pull them out to Quebec. Let them take it. Then we will siege them. And then we'll also land then we'll land the second army once it's replenished to Charleston. And then we'll immediately have uh, taken two territories and knocked out one of their armies rather than trying to hold on to it and losing an army. Catholic missionary in Florida. Let's move them to Savannah preemptively. I mean you're depleted, but we don't know by how much. The problem is this army's too weak to withstand it, so. Oh, 
Well, then Sailor Rat. Well, that's kind of bad. So if I go to here... What's my movement like? Oh, yeah, my movement on the way back is fine. I think this is the only outcome, is to pull them back. Pull them back. Disembark them. Fully replenish them. Well, they've got four units back at New Andalusia, so let's combine some of our most experienced regiments together. There we go, that's four slots. Let's reinforce. Ooh, that went. That was really weird. Sometimes when I'm pressing, when you press the middle mouse button, whew, for a minute there. So you can press and click and drag with the middle mouse button, but it appears like this. But it appears doing that during the navy naval move phases. It's a bit weird. Oh, for God's sake! Disembark. Move you out of the way. So you're at full strength. Build a second sloop, because they're not they are within range of attacking the enemy coast. But I think first of all. Is there just a fifth rate? There isn't a lone US big warship to take out. Let's upgrade some of our safer plantations. Because we do want to upgrade them. Yeah, get you guys replenished. Retake St. Augustine, land and attack Florida, or Georgia, then push on to Charleston. That is quite a good foothold, both to push north against the Americans and northwest against the Spanish. So we upgraded this building. Good. Five turns until our measuring tools are done. Yeah, we've got a, a bit of a garrison, and we're about to get um, measuring tools. So let's hit end turn again. They're about to pick up an army and go where with it, pray? East, it looks like. Nothing for us to worry about. So the US are going to invade. <laughs> they are walking here! They're going to go take Rome. So their armies, I could protect from there. It would have been very dodgy to hold, I think. Just auto-resolve it, do as much damage as we can. Because those two armies, when we land our additional troops, will have more than enough to do some serious damage. Especially if we keep recruiting additional troops. I should also do some in, recruit some more troops in Cuba. Uh, it looks like the French have just taken Chikasa and Cherokee territory. So the French-American presence is nothing to be sniffed at either. But it was comforting that they didn't join the war against us. But at some point we will have to go to war with them. Oh. There we go. The American army cannot leave. Actually, they might be able to. The US might have survived. The US Navy... Squadron may have survived. There we go. Russia's bashing through at a fair old pace. Are they going to take Finland? They're certainly heading that way. And Sweden is moving to intercept. Kind of. 
army destroyed. Ruben Ramirez. I'm sorry, Ruben. We had no alternative. Now, however. Most strictly speaking, I'd probably say we wanted to land. We wanted to land both these armies at once. I want you to land against Georgia, and you to want to land against Florida at the same time. Rather than doing it individually. Get some more plantation upgrades. So we get Cuba to recruit some infantry, Caracas just to add some extra troops. Okay, you're f you've got walls now to help protect yourself. Some extra ships. Let's move you over to Puerto Cabello. Westphalia is destroyed. Hanover has risen. Florida was lost, but that's okay. Where are my ministers? Hello, five-star base. Plus one navy, plus one management, plus one justice. So he's five-star justice and navy, six-star justice and navy. Definitely not my navy guy. Not probably not my justice guy. Let's go for the head of government. He's five star base of not many unhappiness points. And like you. Although plus two to repression across theatre is pretty handy. I might just leave you as is. It's quite a reasonably good crop of people, I think. So you're sailing on. Sebastian de Miranda. It's. So one more turn. Both our armies should be in good shape. Oh no, go away. Clear off. That's right. God damn it, Mexico. Don't do that to us. Quebec's going to go kick off against someone. They didn't join the war against us, so hopefully they're not going to go for us. It looks like they are going for British possessions in the north. It's interesting, because I've started this campaign using the Darth Mod using Darth Maul Empire late, like the late campaign setting on the on the launch rather than custom. And in custom, they seem determined... Here you go, they've taken Rome. In custom, they're determined to... Uh, the AI is determined to go after you. Whereas in this, this setting, it appears the AI is more amenable to doing their own thing. Good to know. I have taken... The habit of playing playing my campaigns under the custom setting because it feels like it's a bit more ag aggressive and is a bit more of a challenge for me um, but i must admit it's quite nice to play one for once where it's okay things are okay i'm not firefighting every massive problem right off the bat <laughs> okay prussia's not going to offer us another giant alliance like last time I'm probably going to want a... I am going to want garrison armies. Although I don't necessarily need to worry about France as much. But I will need to keep an eye on them. It won't be many turns until I've got to start upgrading my roads and so on in my home theatre. So hopefully my tax income is growing at a fair old pace. Unsurprisingly, my most wealthy region is Bogota, although they are a bit grumpy. Clamour for reform. So you may not get a university. We may not have more than one university until we land against we land in the US. Or we take more US territory. Sebastian Serrano. 
See, they've not upgraded Florida or its territories. Sail around that US fleet. I mean, we, we should just blockade it, really. See, now we're, we're back. And you... Come on. Middle, middle mouse button dragging again. Land off the coast of Savannah. Then I'd be pushing on that. Charleston, Williamsburg, Annapolis, Billy. See, they've got a small army here. Small army there, but no, no massive armies to worry about, although we are going to get attacked if we stay out here. Or we'll probably get attacked anyway. That sloop is likely going to bite the dust. Agreed. You. What a good port upgrade. Upgraded roads here. 6,000 in hand. Not bad at all. Let's probably build, um, build some artillery in Caracas. It's unfortunate we can't attack this turn. Oh, you're mostly Catholic anyway. You're going to stay there though to convert the last of the population. Then it's time time to push against Charleston. So I'm going to hit end turn, set up the attack, and then I'm going to end the episode rather than end it uh, now. The army is embarked. I mean, they could well be sailing to go into Europe. There you go. They've pushed us out of the fleet. They've pushed us out of the dockyard, rather. So those sloops are likely going to die. Señor, asentamiento sitiado, mi señor. Asentamiento asediado. ¿Qué ordena, capitán? Sí, señor. Sí, señor. La nación espera que todos cumplan con su deber. Oficial encubierta.
se pudre en la pocilga. Objetivo asediado, señor. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, so I muted my microphone to cough. Um, I then unmuted my microphone, or I thought I did. So basically, what I've been saying this whole time, hopefully not for, I don't think it was for very long, but long enough. So we've landed our troops, we've done all our upgrades, and we have... I'm probably going to siege St. Augustine for a little bit, just to do a bit of attrition. But I'm definitely going to want to invade Savannah and capture it. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sorry for the, um, the audio kerfuffle. And, yeah, see you in the next episode where we, be where we kick off our war against the United States properly. Cheers, everyone.